Hi, it's Therese from Lost In Paper and I'm here for the new Alter New Release and I'm going to be making a split pinstripe card using the new release pinstripe background as well as this mega alphabet and it's the T die. I thought this would be fun to make a really sweet thank you card. So I wanted my uh, T to be sort of half white and half um, pinstriped on the angle so what I've done here is I've got a piece of cardstock and I'm holding it in place with my misty tool sort of working out where my T is going to be and I've put a piece of um, scrap paper like copy paper and I've added some tape and I'm also holding it down with the um, magnets there and this is a new stamp so I have prepped my stamp did you see I was just using an eraser there just to lightly rub over the whole um, stamp just it conditions it and helps it accept ink a little bit better but obviously the best way to condition a stamp is just to use it the more you use it the better it will stamp all right so I did have a couple of goes at this but I found I just wasn't getting that sharp edge that I wanted along where the copy paper was so to sort of fix that all I did was come in with a Copic Malta liner and draw it so that it finished right at that very edge of the paper okay so you might be hearing like things are a little bit different um, for me at the moment I'm traveling if you follow me then you'll know that I'm on the road my hubby and I are driving around Australia <laughs> so if you're interested in seeing some footage from Kangaroo Island then hold on to the end of the video because I've just put together a couple of minutes of video footage showing some of the sites that we saw there if you're interested otherwise you can um, head on through the links below because obviously this is a hop and a giveaway and if you go through the link below you'll find out how you can win a gift certificate to spend at Alternu and how you can win lots if you head to all the other blogs because they'll be linked there as well all right so I did stamp out a panel of pinstripe cardstock and I've also die cut my tea the mega tea these alphas are so much fun and you can do such a lot with them they're a really bold statement on a card or if you're a scrapbooker perfect size to sort of highlight then the initial of a person or the beginning of a big sentiment for impact so I've die cut the tea and popped it up on some foam I thought it'd be fun to add some really nice bright florals so I've got the folksy florals set and I've used just some really nice bright colors here and this is kind of a layering a really fun layering set and all the layers today I've done in either the, I started with the bright colors but the detail layers I've just used the black the permanent black ink for all of those so even on the leaves for the dots in the center of the flowers and also the dots on the um, the misty mist misty mountains oh, I can't remember the color of it the blue the pretty teal blue one <laughs> I've taken my sentiment from the arabesque medallion stamp set and I'm just stamping that out in some permanent black ink and cutting it down I am still struggling <laughs> to get my measurements right on my paper trimmer but I do like the way it cuts I'm just I don't know obviously maybe it's my vision <laughs> but anyway what I do is I actually I've cut a piece of jet black cardstock but when I adhere these panels down on my card front I make sure that they're stuck perfectly on the folded end of the card because then I can easily just come back to the front of my card and trim that portion down where I didn't cut it perfectly <laughs> I did decide to pop my tea up a further layer just with some foam dots I wanted that sort of gap between the front and the back and I probably could have easily just added a second layer of cardstock for support rather than the foam but that wasn't my initial intention so it evolved <laughs> I thought tea is for thank you it's a good fun concept to use these mega alphabet letters it doesn't have to be an initial or it can be for a word all right so I'm using some tape runner some foam dots some foam squares and 
adhering my little bouquet down before I adhere the rest of the sentiment. I did have to add a couple of different layers to the sentiment just to make sure that it sat flat across the front of the tea and the flowers. So the, the tape runner actually is going to be sitting on the tea itself but everything else sort of is built up to fit with the little design that's beneath. So like I said, don't forget to head over to the blog and um, if you're really interested to see what I've been videoing while I was over at Kangaroo Island, stay tuned because I will have some footage coming up really soon. So till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to leave a comment so you can win too. <laughs> oh, that's over at the blog though. <laughs> Bye.